Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create separate outputs for Satala in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here with a guitar loop and some drums I programmed. And I programmed them to trigger the VST instrument Satala, which we went through in a previous video. It's a free drum machine plugin that works really well with Reaper. And I've added some custom drum sounds for this drum kit. And I've left these pads blank because I don't need this many drum sounds. Although we could use up to 16 with this method. Let's close this and let's hear what we have. Let's solo the drums and let's see them in the MIDI editor. Double click and we can see the program notes right here. Our kick, snare, hi-hat, open hat, claps, maraca, and clave. Now within this plugin, we can control for each sample, the volume, pan, and a bunch of other parameters. But sometimes we want even more control. And we can get that by sending each sample to their own separate track. And to do that, just go up here to the menu and choose audio output and change it from stereo output to 16 channel output, one channel per pad, which creates 16 tracks, one for each pad. And we could delete these tracks because we didn't use these pads. Let's make these bigger and give them a color. So now we have a separate track for each sample in our drum machine, all being sent one sample per track. Let's say we wanted to send two samples or more to the same track. Like the hi-hat, I only need one track for both samples. So we can go to the routing on the main track. We can see all our sends right here. And here are the two hi-hat sample sends. The first one is sending from five and six to this track. And the second one is sending from seven and eight to this track. But we don't need this send. So let's delete it. Let's create a new one going to the first hi hat track. And that send is right here. So let's send seven and eight to go to the first hi hat track. So now they're both going to the same track. Let's close this. And now we could delete the open hat track as both hi hats are going to the first track. Perfect. So let's go to the mixer. And from here, we could adjust all the volumes of each sample separately. And we could also adjust the pans. Let's pan the hi hats a bit to the left and the maracas a bit to the right. But now we could also add completely different effects to each sample. Let's go to the effects on the kick track. Let's go to the Reaper effects and choose the rear comp compressor to compress just the kick.
And let's also compress the snare also separately. Let's also add an EQ to the snare using re EQ. Let's hear it. And for the claps, let's add a delay using the re delay plugin. Let's set it to a 16th note with feedback. Let's add some reverb after it. Let's choose reverbate. And let's make the room size a little bigger. Let's hear it in the track. Now I only like the delay every other time. So let's automate it using bypass. Let's put our track into touch mode and bypass it every other time. That's better. Let's put it back to trim read. Let's move the envelope to the media lane. And for the maracas, let's add some reverb to them. Let's hear it. And for the clav, let's add a really big reverb to this. We'll make the room size extra long and bring down the dampening. And if we want to hear what it sounded like before, just put this back to stereo. It sounds a bit flat and sterile to me. After, It sounds a bit more three-dimensional to me. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create separate outputs for Satala in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Bingo boys, let's go.